Ah, the kids are going to be taking over Coors Field for Weather and Science Day today. You'll get to try some fun. They will get to try some fun experiments while learning about physics, math, and meteorology. Speaking of meteorology, our meteorologist Becky Ditchfield joins us this morning from Coors Field. Becky, you're with the man behind the mess. Behind the mess. That's behind the mess. <laughs> that I always get that. Best way to put it. So true. We're so excited about Weather and Science Day today, out here, we Steve. We're always excited about Weather and Science Day. A huge thanks uh, to the Rockies. This is a, an undertaking. I, I love being at the park this time in the morning because look yes. at this. It's just so pristine. Yeah. You have to remember this is first and foremost a ballpark, and so we have to be very, very respectful of uh, of the grass and just everything. So when we're planning out, oh please. Have anyone we're else planning out ironic. the demonstrations. We have to be so, so <laughs> careful. And at the same time, we know there's going to be 15,000 kids. This might be the moment in time where a child looks at it and goes, whoa, wait, what is meteorology all about? Yep. So we're planting seeds. That's really what this is about. Yeah, and getting them super excited about the science. You have been excited about science all your life. Uh, I've been doing this for a, long, long, for a time, long, long time, celebrating 18 years at Channel Line, uh, and we've done so many different demos. This is wonderful because we get a chance to do them large scale yes. and get a chance uh, for kids to be able to see them. They're kind of close, and we can have some kabooms. Oh, I can't tell you about that. We have some kabooms, I guess, as well, which is fun. We've been counting them down all morning we long. We right? our, our favorite moments. And we've got number one. Number Drum one. Drum roll, please. It's about weather balloons. Check this out. Every day, people around the world launch thousands of weather balloons to help meteorologists like myself gather data. Steve came up with launching a weather balloon from the middle of Coors Field. The balloon, armed with GoPro cameras and beaker, climbed to 92,000 <laughs> feet before bursting. It was eventually found in Wiggins, Colorado, which is almost 60 miles northwest of Coors Field. It was You could see this go into space. It was crazy. So here's the thing. When we pitched the thing uh, early on uh, to the Rockies, everyone looked and said, there's not a possible, uh, no way we could do that. Here's the cool thing. It teamed up with Edge of Space Science. Yes. They, uh, we, uh, I don't know how, got the FAA to clear air traffic control for 12 minutes around Denver so we could launch this balloon. I don't know. And then they tracked it. They knew within a half a mile where it was going right. to be. We returned to Beaker to Nine News for the 4 o'clock show with Mark Kobrick looking at it and Kim Christensen. This went to 92,000 feet. So it was that's fun. It was amazing video and yeah. it was such a fun day and we have so many more fun things and special surprises in store for the kids we today. We have a good one today, biggest one ever. Yeah, it's gonna be just as memorable. So Marty, I know that we are ready for it and we are super excited too that it is a great, great forecast out here at Coors Field. Is Andres Galarraga gonna be hitting fly balls again? Cause I just took a, a digger Ooh. shagging balls. Yeah, last year. that was a rough <laughs> moment for you last year. I always, I was your backup. I was like, I'll let Marty take that one. Yeah, he, man, he can hit the ball hard. It is amazing. Thank you, guys. Can't wait to see you out there in a couple of hours. So Steve Spangler, known for pushing limits when it comes to science. We know this. Check out some of his best experiments from previous weather and science days. We have things like huge Mento geysers when kids mix Coca-Cola and Mentos. I love that one. There's also these huge exploding trash cans. Scientists use beakers and flasks for this. Steve uses trash cans with thousands of colorful balls and liquid nitrogen. It shows what happens when compressed gas breaks through a plastic soda bottle. A much larger scenario, of course, is used at Coors Field. And then one of our favorites, when he released a weather balloon from Coors Field five years ago, it eventually popped at 93,000 feet and was found almost 60 miles from Coors Field. Great that pictures. That was really cool. Yeah, oh, really great cool pictures video. From that. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to head okay. out and check in with Becky, who is down at Coors Field, and she is prepping for Weather and Science Day. <laughs> ah! What is happening? Steve has lost control. Yes. Uh, so I am down it's here. Fine. Don't worry about it. For Just weather. Just get ready, everybody. It's fine. Do not worry. Connie, reload me. Reload. Weather. Reload. No reloading. It's fine. Hey, we're out here getting ready for Weather and Science Day. Uh, 15,000 kids, biggest uh, that I think that we've ever had. Just trying to get kids excited about science, technology, engineering, math, little meteorology. Becky, there's 30 gallons of water behind you, so you're gonna get into the water. <laughs> what? Right what? You don't I don't know, Steve. Here, I used to the, You cord, get in the water. <laughs> these, are, these are cordless now, so you can run away. Um, so 
honestly, the police never can get... No, stop that. Uh, this is going to be at your house, or it'll be... <laughs> we're teaching Please flight. don't Look show this. my this children this. this. Oh, my goodness. So awesome. An entire roll in seconds. You know... Bam! Look at that. It's gone. See the people, the, the grounds crew at Coors the Field crew loves, loves this us. event. They love this event. Yes. Oh, very, very sorry. So there's this, and there's so much more that everybody's going to be able to see. Absolutely, uh, and we've got so many uh, cool things. Uh, a big surprise at the very end. <gasps> out of thin air. That's the secret. Out of th something will appear out of thin air. So I'm going to untangle myself. Um, roll this back up again. <laughs> no, I'm not rolling this back, roll up, again. back up again. Guys, I can't wait to see what see what Steve does to me in the next hour. It'll be fine. It's well, good. Becky, I feel your pain. Ask Steve about the one time a few years ago that he did that to me, and I was picking Charmin Flex out of like my eyelashes and my mouth for like an hour. <laughs> Settle down. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Weather and Science Day, guys. 10:30 today. It's going to be a fun time. Oh, I love oh, it. it. I love Becky. it when Steve TP's Becky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much more fun to watch. Yes. All right, thanks, you guys. It's warmer today and definitely sunnier outside. Our nine news meteorologists are enjoying the weather and teaching a whole lot of kids about science at Coors Field. Danielle Grant is joining us. Danielle, how's it going down there with those 15,000 students? Oh my gosh, it was absolutely electric earlier this morning, Amelia. Of course, weather and science day in full fashion here at Coors Field. The entire Nine News weather team was out here having a great time. And of course, our own science guy, Steve Spangler, always a hoot. And he was up to a few of his usual tricks, of course, with giant balloons out here. We sent a weather balloon all the way up into the atmosphere. And we had a, a guest performance, too, at the very end as some... Uh, some folks were skydiving into the stadium. It was absolutely so much fun. And of course, Mother Nature cooperating for us. Sometimes she doesn't. We have to postpone. But today, it was beautiful. It's an April tradition unlike any other. And we're not talking about the Masters. We are, of course, <laughs> referring instead to the Nine News Weather and Science Day. It's an annual event. It draws thousands to Coors Field every year to learn a little bit about weather and science, and of course have a lot of fun. Don't believe us? Just ask Danielle Grant and Corey Reppenhagen. Weather and Science Day 2018 now in the books, but what an incredible time. Corey, your first Weather and Science Day, what do you think? Yeah, you know, I love how Steve Spangler does science. You know, he's our nine news science guy, and you know, the things, <laughs> he knows all the tricks. He and does. And he's a high energy guy, so the kids are going to pay attention to him. <laughs> yes. But just in case, we had to get him a little bit more riled up, so we yeah. had Dinger out there. That and purple dinosaur. Really he really got things going. <laughs> <laughs> so Dinger comes out and literally just rallies up the kids. We had about 12,000 kids in the stands this year, which was simply incredible. You get Dinger out there and they just went wild. And I mean, a free t-shirt doesn't hurt anyone either. So. Yeah, he was launching those t-shirts into the stands <laughs> and they just loved that. And that just set the stage for some cool science. It really did. Uh, so Steve Spangler, he called the entire Nine News weather team up to bat basically uh, to really get us pumped up for the event in front of all of these kids across the metro area, up in the mountains, in Wyoming, the Eastern Plains. Kids from across the region came to Weather and Science Day uh, just to get inspired, learn a little bit more about science, and of course, have a good time in the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, and you know, we kicked it off, of course, with some uh, hydrogen smoke, so that's a good way to get things going, and the kids really love that, you know, to see that, just get started with a chemical reaction right away. That's how Steve Spangler likes to do things. That, yes, he, the bigger the better, absolutely. And of course, meteorologist Becky Dishfield and Kylie Burst, our newest meteorologist, were kind of front and center for that experiment and got a good taste of the Steve Spangler magic, of course. But it wasn't just Steve. We had a lot of other people from CSU that were there, too. Yeah, you know, the CSU guys were out there. Uh, we had Russ Schumacher yes. and Noah Newman from CSU. They brought their weather balloon out here, and they showed the kids how the, the balloon rises and expands through the atmosphere and pops at the end. So I think that's what they really liked is the popping at yes. the end. Yes. But, you know, that balloon went straight up. I've never seen that happen in our which state. Which is very, very telling of just the weather conditions that we had today, which could not have been better. Once we did all of that, it kind of came to uh, the main event, so to speak. And the Air Force Academy was here, and they truly 
took the event to the next level. <laughs> yeah, and I like how Steve and that Air Force guy kind of played it off like, oh, I, no I, I'm big deal. sorry we don't have anything no for you. No big deal, yeah. But we do have this airplane in the sky with a bunch of jumpers. I mean skydivers. I think they probably had eight to ten skydivers. They jumped out of an airplane. What do you think? 12,000 feet above us? Oh, yeah, and they made precision. <laughs> like you have never seen. Oh, passed right over at all the... <laughs> 12,000 kids right into the stadium. So yeah. it's really good. It was such a fun event and always so exciting. You know, springtime sunshine, you get 12,000 kids around, it's going to be loud. And we're pretty proud of all the science that we got to teach them too. Yeah, you know, I, I love seeing all these kids with their uh, excitement for science, but then I realized that they got free tickets to this game. Oh, yeah, the game. There's so, that, too, which yeah, has so been that. equally amazing. And uh, hoping for a win from our Rockies. A little sunshine. Yeah, that didn't hurt. Hope you brought the SPF, Corey. Yeah, I'm all, all blocked up. <laughs> I know, right? Tom, Kim, we'll send it back to you.